I just really don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> so I went to a wedding this past weekend and I did not have time to go get my nails done and I had ripped all my other ones off. So this is my first time doing glue on nails since I don't even know when, like my childhood. And they have stepped up their game. But four days of being at the barn, uh, we lost a couple. So we're putting them back on. I'm mentally preparing myself right now to go hose down and possibly give baths to yearlings for the first time. Uh, yearling horses, meaning like 800 pound animals that have never been sprayed with a hose before. <laughs> it's pulling up on your side. I said, I just, I just said, I'm shocked he didn't stop because. Well, that's on that. I was about to say, he was not stopping for me. Come on, big buddy. So Waylon is my yearling stud colt. So he is, let's see, he was born March 2022. This is August, so March, May, June. 17 months old. So the reason he's a smidge skinny right now, and he's not too skinny, but he's not fat either, is because he and my filly were growing really, really fast. And we were, you know, feeding him alfalfa and grain and everything. Well, we decided, well, we didn't just decide. We decided with our vet that we were gonna cut their feed back just to stop their major growth spurts from happening so that they could grow at a regular rate and then their joints and bones would all be good because sometimes when they grow really, really fast, it can affect their bodily structure and the strength of their bones and joints. So we wanna make sure they're as strong and healthy as possible. And sometimes that means being a little skinny for a minute. So I should also mention, this is Waylon and Wheezy's first baths. Now they're yearlings, so sometimes we do it earlier than this, sometimes we don't. It just depends on like the time that we have. And it's been a very busy year. So they get tied quite often as yearlings. They get led every single day. But I haven't been quite as active with grooming and bathing them as I have with babies in the past. So we're doing that today. How do you feel about this wash thing? You think we're good? You think we can do it? You think we're a big boy? I got your way. You go back in. Look at you, big boy. Alright, we're gonna do cross ties. You've done this before. Okay. Now we do have Joel here just in case he needs to be held during this, which he probably will. Um, just to be comforted and held so that he doesn't come too forward and then this will stop him and then he could rear up and hit his head and all kinds of things could happen. So, do you mind coming and holding him while I start him out? Your smile, Joel. Okay, I am gonna start a TikTok. I'm gonna start off literally spraying over here. Easy, baby. See, water's not dangerous, you're okay. Warm. Don't want it to be like a shock of cold and like the sensation, you know. All right, so I'm gonna get in front of him now and just kind of. Want to see it? He's not gonna get to you. We're just gonna spray his front legs, but I'm just gonna start it over here. To get a little closer and closer. Okay. Got it on the feet. The big thing with babies, even if they chill out, don't ever get into like a trusting mode where you're like, oh, they're good now. No. Oh. go to training because she was in a the NSBA yearling sale so we bathed her before she left 
And literally, this filly sat there like she had been bathed 10 times or more. And that, yeah. So sometimes they're great, sometimes they're not. Waylon is so chill in like every aspect, so he's got to have some fault somewhere. So it's important to notice, I'm not starting this out behind him. And since he did react that way the first time, we went ahead and unclipped him from the cross tie. Even though he's used to being cross tied, like while his stall's clean and stuff, he's not used to being cross tied while water's being, you know, put on him. And so it's safer for us to just hold him so that we can put our bodies in a position that is not in harm's way. And if we needed to, we could circle him out of here if he started absolutely flipping out. So with babies, you just gotta take precautions. Like all of my adult horses you've seen in the videos of them getting bathed, they're so good. They just stand there. But all of them started out right here. So. for Waylon if we can get him fully hosed off we're gonna quit with that and reward him by being a good boy I don't think we're gonna do a full sudsy bath today could you be a little baby do we have any treats we can give him afterwards oh how does that feel I thought about the butt pucker as soon as I did that a lot of the times especially like boys I've noticed will like when you get to the top of their butt or the top of their tail with cold water and they haven't felt that yet, they'll like pucker. But now is he just not okay with any of it? Like listen, I gave you I gave you a little bit here. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. It's not that serious. I accidentally got his pee pee. <laughs> he was fine until I got the pee pee. <laughs> All right. You're, are you going to let me scrape you? Let me get scraper to scrape the extra water off. He's got to get used to that. It's okay. He said, I disagree. I did that. Uh, Time to go back to the stall. It's just such a hard life. Being a baby. Oh, she is mad. Can we make up? No. Oh, he said, you can if you give me my food, woman. So just like we did with Waylon, we're gonna give Wheezy her first bath. More than likely her first full hose off in the wash bay where she's not just outside getting a hose to her legs. So we'll see how this goes. So Wheezy is 100% in her yearling skinny, tall, lanky giraffe stage. So I can't wait to see her blossom. Just trying to hose the baby off for the first time, drop and bucket. 
for their watch bands, their belts, their wallets. They have some really awesome stuff and they have a lifetime guarantee on these rings. So if you look at it and say, why don't I just you know, order one quickly off Amazon? Well, Amazon isn't gonna send you a brand new one if you lose it, if you tear it, if anything happens to it. They will literally ask no questions and send you a new one. No, I was about to say no questions asked. I, I already said that, Katie. Anyway, so if you would like to check these out, Go check out my signature collection and use KDVS15 for 15% off the entire website. Not just the rings, but everything. Back to normal broadcasting. Oh, she's okay with it. I was talking about something. See, that's not so bad. It's like a massage. She said, that's my booty, mama. Don't be touching it. Excuse me, ma'am. Wheezy also got upgraded. So her stall used to be a smaller one. And when Sunny went to saddle up, Wheezy got his stall. So now she's out in the middle of everyone. She gets a little more attention. She has her own nameplate now. Isn't that right? You got your own nameplate. So. I did think it's funny. So Waylon is in between his mama. This is cool. She's due in March with her next baby. And then he's also in between Weezy's mama, Indy. Indy. So he, he can't get away with nothing. He's got two mamas on either side of him. He can't be a little turd like most little stuck colts are. But I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love to know what you would like to see in the future on my channel. And if you haven't, go check out my merch tour. We've got, got all kinds of stuff with the donkeys and the goats and the mini cows and all the horses. And not everything is gonna be there forever. So if you like this shirt or if you like a phone case, you might wanna get it because we're constantly circulating out photos as the babies grow and things like that. So check that out at katievanslike.net slash shop and I will see y'all in my next video.